basically what an alpha is is when uh, an image is it's a it's a black and white image that's attached to your image already and anything that's black is going to stay in the image and anything that's white is going to be transparent and if I I think I still have the PNG here of the squish. Um, I can import it. If I still have it. Yep. Is this it? This is, I think. Now oh, that's the TIFF. Here is the PNG. So I'll bring, I'll bring that in real quick. Now, a PNG doesn't have an alpha, but a TIFF does. So in the PNG, all this white that's in his mouth and in his eyes, or in a tiff, all that white that's in his eyes and his mouth and all around the background is going to be gone because the uh, alpha of it, the white is going to be gone and the black is going to stay. That's how I was able to get this guy with transparency behind him. Alphas were a little hard for me to understand at first because you use them differently to um, with these blending modes, and I'll show you real quick how they how they work. So first one is stencil alpha, and it's and it stenciled out everything that was in in the alpha. So as you can see there, since it was black. So now we go to stencil luma, and it's just like a little, a little less. Uh, the gradient down here at the bottom I had on was black, uh, gradiented black. So it was a little, it's going to be a little faded. And there's the silhouette alpha, and the silhouette uh, luma. So with the, with the uh, stencil or silhouette alphas the transparency is going to be cut out based on the alpha channel and with stencil luma and silhouette luma the alpha or uh, the transparency is going to be cut based on the luminance values of the of the uh, image hopefully that makes some sense if you if you can't figure out the words like some of the words that I'm using, like luminosity and things like that, go into Google and look them up so you know what is going on. And uh, you can figure out how these work a little better. Now, the next ones down here are also transparencies, uh, but they, they work differently. So the alpha add, which you're not gonna be able to see in this one, when you have two things that share a seam and you want them to, uh, I mean, let's see, they, you want them to like fill in that seam there. You would change it to an alpha add and it'll, it'll fill it in for you. The last one here is a uh, luminescence premolt. And um, you can't also tell what's going on here, but sometimes when you import um, images with alphas, they, or video, the, edges are too bright so I mean you would you would use this uh, luminescence pre malt to fix that um, I'll go over that in like a, a later tutorial same with the alpha add and then that way I can show you how those work better so that's it for the blending modes I mean they are a little daunting at first but once you use them and and you remember that the different sections are here. These are darkening. These are lighting. These are um, the. Oops, sorry. These are lightening. These are lighting. I confused myself there for a second. I was going to say lighting twice. Um, these ones are subtracting and. Um, these ones here are based on color and these ones here are based on alphas so just remember like the basics and experiment I mean I don't know what each one is gonna do so I would experiment and see which one looks cool